Wow. See, I knew this car needed a freaking serious buff. It needed a cutting, it needed all of that, man. accepted to VIP parking at Broke East. Uh, yeah, I didn't get accepted last year. <laughs> Even with the last Integra, I didn't get accepted. The Integra before that didn't get accepted. But um, this one got accepted. So finally, that's how I know I'm doing something good. But um, as you can see, I just got done buffing, well, cutting and buffing the driver's side of the car. And it looks pretty nice. She, she looking really, really milky right about now. I don't know if any of y'all ever noticed this tail light, how it was sunken in, but now it's, it's pretty much lined up like it's supposed to. It's pr almost perfectly lined up. This side of the bumper had a really, really noticeable sag. I fixed that. You seen at the end of the last video, I took off the old tent. There was two layers of tent. Also ordered my spoonies. Ordered the spoon decal stickers for the wheels. I ordered the tires. Got the Spoon Sports banner coming. Um, also, spoon rep mirrors. Because I can't find the actual spoon mirrors. And if you do find them, like around like $1,600, $1,700, which I don't have right about now at this moment. But got plenty of wrap left, so I'm gonna do my best with trying to wrap those mirrors. And, Hopefully they come out good. I've been watching videos on wrapping, so I kind of got a better idea on how, how to wrap things. But yeah, so let me get straight to this and finish up buffing the rest of the car, and then I'll give you guys an update on how everything else is going. Passenger side is done. I didn't get to record doing it because the guy next door was blasting music, and um, I didn't want to get a copyright strike dealing with YouTube. But yeah, so now I'm about to hit it with some Ultimate Compound. Switch the pad to the polishing pad and then get to the polishing after that. Well, this is just one pass with the Ultimate Compound on the polishing pad. God damn. And all I'm using is this right about now, along with the blue pad. This quarter pin was almost done already. All right, so the whole car is compounded with the polishing pad. And look at the difference, bro. All that's left to do is just to polish it now. But I'm gonna do a little later on today. Lewis about to be here, so we get just his right height on his Integra on the ZX. But oh, wow. Camera don't really do the car that much justice, but in person, there's a difference. There's a difference. Oh. <laughs> you could at least put some max speedy rods at least exactly like, like that well i wouldn't let it go but that's this shit? crazy what the f yo that's crazy <laughs> and he wanted what 9k for this shit yeah. Wow, and you done gave him the EG with the K with full on suspension and everything. That's all right though. I'll make this car better. That's crazy. This is what I do, right? Pretty much. That's actually good. Yes. It it's still bouncy, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say if I can find a K because. If I, if I say B series, people are gonna be like, Yo, I got a B series for sale. Yeah, true. I mean, if it's a mint GSR or Type R, yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, you know, they're gonna want like five grand for that, though. They can eat a fucking dick. I don't know. <laughs> That's dope. That's different. Yeah, I never noticed that at all. 
about to sell this shit for sale. No. <laughs> Fuck no. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> This shit is trash in the hills. Oh, I believe it. This shit is so fucking bad. Yeah. Anything that you need from right hand drive on this thing, you just, you cheap it. Yo, I probably even use a throttle cable. Yeah, that shit along with the motherfucker. Lewis just left. Um, what you guys think he should do? Should he go B series? Should he go K series again? Like, literally buy everything all over again? Like, as far as, uh, K Pro, motor, tranny, axles, hubs, conversion harness, fuel system, everything all over again. Yeah, it was a straight up trade, and obviously you see they put some eBay sleeves on that uh on that poor single cam Integra. <laughs> but she's looking fucking amazing. Uh, we're gonna do a walk around really quick, and then I'm gonna roll her outside. Just know I still need to get my front bumper repainted to at least match the fenders But since I buffed it now the bumper looks more blue Than what it was before I am really on crunch time right now and I hope I can get this bumper color match Before the knife did the wing quarter panel roof door bottom half of the door side skirts then do the mirrors because I'm replacing the mirrors. The spoon mirrors are coming soon. Uh, I didn't do the I didn't do the hood because of the fact that the hood still look fine, but maybe I probably will compound it tomorrow. Maybe. Fender, they don't look as dull anymore. But you can see the blue tint in the bumper now. I even tried polishing some of the engine bay, which actually kind of worked. It worked out pretty well. <laughs> Um, passenger fender, see how like everything just looks wet. Everything just looks wet. Man. This is what I always needed the Integra, well, my Integra to be like. Like, you don't really see no imperfections. Well, you see paint imperfections, but as far as like little hairline scratches and whatnot. But. Yeah, so I'm gonna put her outside in the light and uh, show you how she looking in the sun. this car came out I am extremely impressed but yeah I'm gonna get ready to get out of here um, go back to the apartment shower eat lay down it's a Saturday night um, I'm not going out to the races people are asking me about going I'm not going I don't really have no interest of being out there unless I'm like extremely extremely bored because at this point now I just want to enjoy my car like, yo, bring the tag out. Nah, I just, I just want to enjoy the car now. I don't even care about racing anymore. Like, I just want to have fun with my car, like with myself. Like, just driving on a highway is like the highlight of my day when I get the chance to drive her. Um, like, when I be on my way back to the apartment and I have to put her back in, like, back here in the storage in the garage, I will literally miss the exit on purpose just to take the next exit to come back around and just to have a little bit more time driving her because it feels so good driving a car that you put together, you know? I hear it down the grapevine. I hear it coming down, trickling down all the time like water from a faucet. How can that attacker make it to VIP with the flaws it has? Yes, 
the car has flaws. The car been sitting in the backyard for two years on jack stands. Even before that, it was sitting on jack stands. I bought it as a shell. It had a crash front. So yeah, of course it's gonna have paint defects here. Paint defect right here, here, here. Some little rust, surface rust. Defect here, et cetera, et cetera. Come on now, that's it. It's an older car that been sitting outside that never been garage. Look what I turned it into though. I turned it from a techie to an Integra. It don't bother me much. Like I had to bring that up because just to let people know, I, I know what's being said. I always find out what's being said about me. I know who says it, whoever y'all talking to, there's a crack in your circle that's coming back telling me everything that y'all saying. So if you're watching this video, just know that I know. But yeah, so I'm gonna end that rant at that. <laughs> All right, y'all, so. My mirrors are here. I ordered these like, today's Monday. I ordered these Friday and they're here already. Literally within like two days. I already cut the box open. Oh shit. Spoon reps, but it came with a Spoon Sports uh, key, uh, key chain. That's pretty cool, didn't expect that. Got my wrap, mirror, heat gun, blade. I may try and attempt to do this and uh, see how it come out. All right, so I'm retiring from trying to rap. <laughs> it was coming out so good, but when it came down to like this area right here, it's like it's too much rap and it kept on wrinkling up. F those spoon mirrors. <laughs> Can't see shit. All right, so I get this is what I get for buying rap parts. Um, yeah, they look good on the car, but functionality wise, not too good. So all I see really is just this part and like this part of the road. So no matter how much force I try to put on um, pushing the mirror upward and out, it wasn't working. So I must probably send these back and keep the keychain if they let me <laughs> get my uh, $68 back. But hey, wow, now I find you. Now I find you when I no longer need you. I've been looking for this for like an hour. I also got my back seats, which I'm gonna toll center either later on tonight or tomorrow. Maybe tonight since the mirrors didn't work out too well. And that was, that's a bummer, man. That's a bummer. Since the mirrors didn't work out, I decided to just finally actually do the hood. And look at how smooth and reflective this came out. That looks really fucking good, bro. I'll probably add this clip into the montage in the beginning <laughs> before I took the car outside. Even though this is like after I took the car outside, so you know, I'll do that. Also, I did the grill over too. Actually came out pretty good this time. All right, y'all, so uh, as you guys can see, Lele's on jack stands again. I'm gonna close the video out here. But um, yeah, I was getting ready to go to this car meet in Milford. Milford, Connecticut with Layla. Um, all I did was just change the back pads. That's it, back pads. And um, yeah, I'm sure you exactly what happened. All I did was just fucking, you know, pump the brake to get the, the caliper piston to come back out, you know, cause new pads. Yep, this line burst right here. That about a bitch. But you know, making a trail. Coming from here, all the way over there to around there. This trail coming from here. To all the way from here. So yeah, I ordered a Valix Racing uh, rear stainless steel brake line, but um, I still gotta get a front line for right here for the front passenger. The last few things for, she'll be here by the end of this week. Hopefully I have this front bumper fully colored match to the fenders because right now it's looking a little grayish. So yeah, I'm gonna close the video out here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.